friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. So you do your wallpaper job and the customer's very happy, but they have contractor grade paint on the adjacent walls touching the wallpaper. There's two ways you can do it. You can wipe the paste off of the wall, creating a shadow, or you can use masking paper to protect the painter's surface, warning the customer that at the end, you'll probably take the paint off of the wall. The only thing you have to make sure is that he has enough paint. And so how do you do it? You get a good quality brush and you wet it first, shaking off the excess water. And if your customer's really good, they'll store their paint, not in a can, but in plastic. Very good idea. And then you get to it. You put the paint about an inch away and then you bring that line nice and straight right up against your wallpaper. You might say, why don't you put tape on the wallpaper? The answer to that is, I don't want to. Because my hand is steady enough and the brush is quality enough that I'm not gonna get paint on the wallpaper. You see how I turn the brush upside down there? The brush is your tool. Don't let the brush tell you what to do. Do you see where I'm holding the brush? Why am I doing that? I have better control over the brush if I hold it at the barrel. When you're trying to get precision, how you hold the brush will make or break you. Okay? We're not using tape here or anything else. Here's why. This sheet of paper was just put up within the last hour. When I pull my tape off, if I should use tape, I'm going to pull that piece of wallpaper up. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to be trying to put wallpaper down up against a wet wall. And you know how that goes. It doesn't go that good. So now I'm just wiggling the brush. As Mr. Aubrey says on his nice channel on YouTube, just wiggle it. He says, just wiggle it. Something like that. Now, of course, we're painting over texture, and that adds to the challenge of the task, doesn't it? If you have trouble making a straight line the way I'm doing it, I suggest that you keep bottles of red wine on your truck so that before you let your customer look over the work, you give them a complimentary bottle of red wine, making sure that they consume at least one glass before inspecting the job. This will help you get paid.
I confess I used to do that all the time. Just kidding. So if you go slow, that's the trick now. You go slow. Okay? And you make sure you hold the brush the right way. You put the paint here, you drop it here, but then you bring your bristles in where the action is. There's no need to bring a loaded brush right up against wallpaper. Here's why. It's amateur. You're gonna wind up a, with paint all over your wallpaper. So you just bring it over an inch away or so, and then you bring wet bristles or filaments. They're not called bristles. Did you know that? A paintbrush has filaments and not bristles. But we say bristles so that everybody understands what we're talking about. These are filaments. The people who sell the paintbrushes, they don't even know that. They don't. Now, for those of you who are saying the paint color is different, you know that wet paint is darker, right? In this case, it's showing it's, it's darker. Other times it's lighter, but in here, it is the same color because the customer handed it to me. And he didn't have wine before he handed it to me. It's only 11 in the morning. And that's it, you know, you go back and forth until you got it right. Now remember I said I wet the brush, right? I want the filaments to have water on them. Not soaking wet. But I want the bristles, I want the filaments to give up the paint. So if you wet the filaments and shake the excess water off, what happens is the filaments will be disinclined to hold on to the water, to hold on to the paint. And will make it easier for you. It sort of lubricates the filaments so that when you wet the filaments with paint, the brush is not absorbing the paint into the filaments. And so it gives it up. It lets the paint come off more easily. That's all. It's a little trick. So now we're at the top. And we're doing the same thing. Isn't that nice? Just hold it steady. Yeah. Did anybody ever watch Bob Ross? Yeah. We're just gonna put another tree in here. So this guy has a friend. He's a happy tree. If I did a parody on Bob Ross, here's what I would say. And this little tree lost his best friend. He drowned in the lake. Yeah, oh, he killed his friend. And that's why there's only one tree. For a dude that wasn't that good looking, he did all right though, I gotta tell you. So there you have it. There you have it. I know it looks like a different color, but trust me, it's not. Okay? Now what about the other side of a 90 degree corner when you have to shave the wallpaper to make a nice straight cut. What about that? Well, we don't approach painting it from this side. We push the paint to where we need it. Check this out. 
You see, if I use my brush like this, I can never get it on the other side. It only stays on this side of the wall. How about that? You like that? Did anybody used to watch the Mets? How about that, Mel Allen? YouTube him, Mel Allen. How about that? All right. Does anybody still watch music from when he was a kid? One time one of my customers let me use their Alexa. So I went into the guy's kitchen and I said, hey Alexa, play Rubber Ducky, Sesame Street. So halfway into the music, the dude comes in with his guests and I'm making believe like nothing's wrong. And his guest says, what is going on here? Like as if I was some weirdo. She couldn't think, just maybe for a second, I was putting them on. They thought I was crazy, especially the guy's guest. She's like, what is going on in here? Because Ernie was singing, Rubber Ducky, you're the one. I don't want to get copyrighted on this video, so let me shut up. Okay. So what do you think? We wound up keeping the paint off of the wallpaper. Not bad, right? By the way, how do you like my job? Don't you just love it? You like this wallpaper? Let me tell you where we got it from. I'll show you the, the sticker on the next segment. Scratch that. I don't have the sticker. It's in the garbage. What do you think? It's a drop match pattern. And if you're really interested, I'll get the information from the homeowner and include it in the on a comment, on a subsequent comment to this video. Thanks for watching.